what up guys it's jason um i wanted to make this video showing you guys some new stuff that's coming out uh, super happy if you can't tell by the the sound of my voice so um first off i want to give a big thanks to my homeboy joe boria joe boria racing um thanks man for always standing by me and always encouraging me um and, and pushing me so weeks ago i was talking to geo and i said man i just can't find a a manufacturer man i've been to places all over and they want to charge me an arm and a leg or they make the items and then they try to start strong army for more money i said uh i ain't about that man i'm gonna i'm gonna go look around and i said i just wish i could find someone like china or japan and uh geo you said straight up i don't put nothing past you jay you'll do this shit guess what signed an nda today non-disclosure agreement already sent them over to two or three uh g files to have done all my designs i'm sending over there they're starting production tomorrow on the very first piece i am so happy i should have it in three or four weeks um and then from there on i'm just pushing them guys i'm gonna be pushing stuff through like you wouldn't believe uh the good thing about it is i wanted to stay american the prices were just too high here um everybody acts like they're the uh, da vinci of um cnc in or milling or whatever so you know what if i gotta send it out to get you guys a good price get me a good price and get a good quality product that's what i'm gonna do um, i did shop around and i found a guy that was translating taking care of me and uh really really happy with the place i went to their portfolio is far superior they make um turbo parts for one of the biggest turbo companies in the world um, as far as drag racing, they make pro charger parts. This place is top notch. I'm very, very, very happy. Um, we're going to be fucking with aluminum, titanium, tungsten. We're going to be fucking with it all. Stanley steel. It don't matter. We're going to have it all. Like I said, I'm just shipping them. I'm shipping uh, designs over to them and they're going to start shipping me products. And next thing you know, boom, it's going to be here. Anyways, super happy about that. You guys can tell, obviously. But for today, these are the products I got for you today. Look. Arm of felony, right? I'm not gonna do the cheesy. This is my arm of felony, 104 millimeter, uh, 325. No, that ain't me, man. I'm not an OxyClean telemarketer. I'm just telling you how it is. I don't try to make a living off uh, YouTube. I make a living off the sweat of my brow, man. I work my ass off for a living. So, look, arm of felony, right? What's so special about it? Not a damn thing. It's bone stock. I had this car almost ready to be put together. And then changed my mind on it. So now I'm going to start building it. But this was the car I tested every single spool on. Everything that came out of here. And guys, just so you know, I'm not even going to get to that. Anyways, top brace. Everybody knows this top brace. Without it, this car folds like a taco, right? Right down the center, right here. The biggest folding spot in the whole car. This brace has a lot of wiggle in there. Even with this clamp down, you still have a little bit of flex to it now let's take out the front brace now let's take off the back brace jason you can't do that man this car's gonna fold like a taco like this let's put this tire under here and let's fold it like a taco guys look at that everybody that has this car knows that lift it up on its nose and do the same thing it folds both ways so what do we do about that man i know guys like Raz Schifrin came out with a new drive shaft right it's a carbon fiber covered titanium shaft correct so that shaft rubs on this brace what do we do we eliminate that brace we eliminate this brace on none of my speed run cars do i run this crap and none of my cars do i run this why because i like my cars rigid i don't like them to have all that flex in there and it changes things for me so what did i do i changed it let's get this out of here I'm going to show you guys my infraction that I plan on going out and busting heads with in about two weeks. There's my armor infraction. That's the new top brace by Flowpack RC. Going to be on the website right now after this video. Flowpack RC. Top brace, 5 millimeter carbon fiber. There's my battery tray right there. It was the first one we made, so we forgot. my son forgot to engrave it. Oh, well, I'm still rocking it because he made it for me. Um, we also have the body post on there from body post. I'm not really worried about the shock towers. I was going to make them, but I decided not to. There's so many people out there making shock towers and wings and stuff like that. I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the out-of-the-box guy that thinks of stuff that no one else has. 
Um, even if people are copying me, I'm still going to be innovating. I'm going to be that guy. Watch. Um, we also made some little 40 millimeter fan covers. These were basically going to be for me, but if anybody's interested, hit me up. Um, we got the wings for the Jags. Carbon fiber, 1.2 millimeter, 1.5 millimeter. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So this car right here, let's put a wheel on the front of this. No flex. I'm shaking. I'm pushing so hard. No flex. You will not get any flex from this. Boom. What's that with, Jason? Oh, that's with a flow spool, baby. The originator of the long spool. Um, my spools, I'm telling you guys, you won't find a better spool. Anyways, if you do, good for you. I don't care. So, next. But what if I don't want to run? Here, let me throw this back up real, real quick. What if I don't want to run my motor in the rear position, man? I want it in the front position. Um, there's a problem with that. Not really. There ain't no problem with that. So here we go. There's the armor limit list with the brace on that. The only thing with this brace is you're going to have to get some aftermarket. Um, well, I'm sorry. You can run this brace. But if you plan on running the piece that I'm going to show you right now, you're going to have to run aftermarket battery trays. The only reason it bolts to the chassis. You might have been wondering, Jason, why is it that you have this? And you have those two holes right here. You got two holes right there you can't see right there. This is the reason. So, a lot of guys getting into this hobby, they don't want to go spend um, a bunch of money on, on spools and stuff. They're just getting in. They're finding out whether they like this hobby or not. So, stick with your stock spool. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Or your stock spool and stock drive line. As long as you got it set up right. Now, I'm going to show you guys something right now. That's with the pinion in there. Just got my servo plugged in here just so I know it's on. Um, and my receiver. A little new 1515, 1650 uh, KV. And stock dog bone, gentlemen. Or, see that long old thing? Stock dog bone. I'm going to show you guys something. Hey, you guys need these? Hit up Rockbud43, hit me up. I'll take care of you and get you hooked up with Rock. Um, this brace right here, guys, been working on it for about two weeks now. I really like how it came out, and I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, let me see if I can get this, prop this thing up higher, or maybe get the camera down. Tell you what, I'm going to run it real quick, just the way it is, so you guys can see in here. And then I'll see if I can get that camera down low. So you can watch that drive shaft run straight as an arrow. So, it's all hooked up, right? Watch that. Oh, don't want to touch the wheels to the ground. Watch that drive shaft, guys. Let me see if I can get better lighting in here. You know what? Watch it. See, I don't... One thing about me, I don't rehearse all my videos. and I ain't about that, man. Um, I'm just about trying to help out where I can. I'm not going to give you everything. I think you should deserve that or earn that on your own. It'll be well deserved when you do. Um, so watch that drive shaft, guys. That's with the stock spool. No wobbling at all. Normally, without this back brace in here, or with the back brace, it would have been flopping all around, smacking that brace. Um, looking like homie's leg when he got hit by the car. No, I'm just playing. That's fucked up. So, that brace right there, holding straight as an arrow. No problems because of our new item. So, if you want to run the stock dog bone in the back with one of my spools or armor spool, go ahead. It'll work just fine. I'm going to send this bad boy next weekend. We'll see how it does. Look at that. Watch that, watch that rear dog bone, guys. Here. Watch this. Watch it. Straight as an arrow, baby. That's how Flowpack does it, man. You don't get no junk from us. You only get top quality stuff. For real though, the um the braces will be on the website right after this video. If you want, we're gonna have two options for this brace. You're gonna have the option where it can come with the piece that holds the stock dog bone. 
or you're gonna have the one that holds the flow pack uh, spool. I am going to be changing up the flow pack spool to fit this new piece. Zero wobble. It's gonna reduce all wobble anywhere in that dog bone. Um, also, I am getting new dog bones. I'm getting, you guys will see when the parts get here from China. It's gonna be a uh, astronomically cool. I heard that word today and I like that word astronomically. So anyways, there you go, guys. Um, there's the brace. It's, it'll work for uh rash shift rinse, um, titanium, whatever you're going to run in there. It'll work. It makes it super stout. Um, let me see if I can find one of my cards real quick. Oh, I know where to find them, but let me just show you guys. This is my Mugen MGT7 and all my cars I run a center brace on. I like my car rigid. I don't like them to have a lot of flex flow. Um, and you'll see when you run this thing, how much better it runs. These chassis, man, they just have so much flex to them. It's ridiculous how much flex these chassis. I wish Arma would have made that piece that bends up right here and goes over all the way down. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. There's the brace. Got it on the limit list, got it on the infraction, running the stock dog bone. I'm gonna go out this weekend uh, and next weekend and the weekend after that, all the way till next July. And I'm gonna be pumping numbers, watch. So there you go, guys. Um, it does come with the piece that holds your um, spool into place, but there you go. It also has a cutout for the servo, so nothing will bind up and catch. And the good thing about it is a lot of people that seen my live video, um, now they say, hey man, now we got a place to put our, lip our lipo. You know, I wanna put my lipo up there now, or I wanna put my GNSS reader thing up there. So now you got a place to put stuff if you want to, you know? Um, one guy was telling me that he's actually gonna buy a strap and run a third battery in the center. Hey man, it's all you. This thing's five millimeter, it ain't bending. It ain't going to hurt enough if you put a strap around it and run an extra battery. Actually, sorry, Dave. Hate to do this to you. I know you said you don't care if I tell anybody, but I still feel bad. Dude's going to run parallel, right? One, two, three, four. That's how he's going to do it, on top of the brace. Um, and I don't think there will be a problem with that because the brace is so stout. This car will not buckle with that brakes in the middle, I'm telling you. It's what you need. Anyways, guys, thank you anyways, or thank you as always for watching, subscribing, liking, uh, thumbs down. I appreciate all the people out there that love me. The world's most loved man in RC. Um, I appreciate all my subscribers. Seriously, I appreciate all the Flow Nation, all the people that stick with me. I appreciate you and all of the people out there that love me. Keep on loving, baby. I'm out. God bless. Peace, man.